Hey, what's up guys? It's Larry again and uh, like I said, I've been a full-time reseller since 1997 on eBay. Uh, we carry all kinds of stuff. We're doing a huge haul here. We just want to show you some of the things that we picked up. So if you see them out there, you might want to pick them up too and you might not. You might say, hey, why the, why'd you pick that up? But uh, I always pick stuff up that I like so or I think we'll sell. But anyway, we picked up uh, about a thousand dollars worth of actually we paid a thousand dollars for a bunch of DVDs, CDs, Blu-rays, uh, 4Ks, video games. We don't have all that stuff here. Most of that went to our other store. But here's like some of the 4K titles I picked up. I ended up paying, I think I ended up paying about $3.50 a piece for the 4Ks. I don't have a lot of 4Ks at my store, so. And we had some pretty good titles, you know, Dumbo and Stuff like that, Ocean's 8, all kinds of different stuff. But we ended up picking up about 25 of those up. They said those are to resell at our video store. We picked this up. It was autographed by X Factor 1. It was already framed like that and had the CD and everything. Picked this up for $3.99. I think I already have it sold to uh, a guy actually downstairs in my office building. Let's see what else. We got some t-shirts. Picked up this uh, Affliction shirt for two bucks. It was a nice shirt, double-sided. Anytime I see Affliction t-shirts, I normally pick them up if they're cool looking. Any Skull shirt, I usually pick up. Got this Tap Out shirt. It's double-sided also. Paid two dollars for that. I don't know if this was a good deal or not. I didn't look it up, but it's an old school single stitch. Just muscle shirt, screen stars, blank. I paid $2 for that. It might be worth 15 I don't know. I usually pick up uh, you know, any, any single stitch I find. Got gone Sasquatching. All these shirts I paid $2 for. I just thought this was cool looking. Had some aliens on it. <laughs> Leave it to Beaver. Rocky. These are old school, like 80 shirts made in USA. I'm not sure what they are. I'm thinking they're like maybe a doctor's office or something. I don't know. But they were new. I just picked them up. Ended up getting three of them. Just thought they had a cool graphic on them. Like I said, two dollars a piece. I thought they were worth a shot. You just never know what people are going to buy. Tell you the truth. There's an old Nike shirt. It's on the old uh, white tag or gray tag. This is uh, some kind of wrestling shirt. The Undisputed Future. I don't watch wrestling, so I don't know who that is, but I just pick up all the wrestling shirts I can find because most of them sell pretty well. There's an old 76ers. Cool looking Adidas. You know, dry fit type shirt. I thought this was cool. It's new school, but it's cool. Then I do that. I always pick Maryland stuff up and Skull stuff up, so it kind of looks like a Maryland Skull. This one's uh, Gremlins, I think. Yeah, Peltzer's Pet. Do not feed after midnight. 1984. I'm sure it's not It's not 1984, but that's what it says. It's a new school shirt. This was cool. It's like a basketball like jersey. And it says uh, freedom on the front. And then on the back it says honor those who have served. It's really cool. I don't know if it was something that... You know, that they wore in a game, like a, you know, charity military game or something. Or something they just made. I don't know. I just thought it was cool, so I picked it up. I paid $2 for it. I said, is there anything I see cool, I pick up. Here's an old Screen Stars. Uh, Barry Larkin. Yeah, it's one of the old black label Screen Stars. I like those. And it's single stitch. I didn't realize it was so old. But yeah, that was a good pickup right there. 
Yeah, sometimes I'm just grabbing them. I just think they're cool and I just grab them. I don't even look to see if they're single stitch or anything. Here's a cool Pink Floyd. I don't see any dates on it. Take that dollar tag off of it. Because it's not going to be a dollar at my store. I think this bag... Everything in this bag here... I think I paid half price for. So... I think this... This might have been like maybe two dollars. Just thought it was cool. Star Wars ugly sweater, sweatshirt type thing. Picked up this Dale Earnhardt Jr. NASCAR shirt for a dollar. Picked up another one of those Star Wars ugly sweaters for two dollars. Got this one for a dollar too. It's a Nike Jordan, I think. It's got the Jumpman on the back. It's a 3X. Like I said, I got it for a dollar. I figure 3Xs will do pretty well. All right, I was, went to a flea market today. And uh, ended up buying WVU hat. I think it's from the 80s. It's, it's uh, made in Taiwan. Bought that. This one here is pretty sick. It's uh, Duke Blue Devils all over. That was nice. But I picked those two up, plus a, a hat rack, like you can hang some hats on. I picked all that up for uh, 12 bucks for everything. And then, a guy just filled up a bag for me, a buddy of mine, and he's like, uh, here, do you want, you would give me $7 for this bag? And I'm like, okay. I didn't even look, <laughs> I didn't even look to see what was in it, so let's see what I got. Oh, this is nice. A Mark Martin jacket with a hood. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Like, I, I swear, I, I have no idea what's in here. I just know that, you know, he's like me. He carries a bunch of sports stuff. And he's like, this is stuff that's been sitting in the shop for a little while. Would you give me $7 for seven pieces? And I'm like, yes, I will. This is nice. Chicago Bulls. Logo 7? Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, this will sell. I might put this on eBay tonight because the bull stuff's been doing pretty well. It's weird. I don't know why this wasn't selling at his store. I mean, the bull stuff should be selling right now. Oh, well, here we go. Pro Players Penn State jacket. That's nice. See, the thing is, you guys need to make friends with other dealers because you guys can help out each other. We help out each other all the time. Uh, he bought a bunch of jerseys off me wholesale the other day. Uh, he, sell, he sold me this stuff like really cheap just because he didn't need it anymore. Uh, like I said, you can make friends and they can help you out. I mean, just because you can't sell it doesn't mean he can't sell it or he can't sell it doesn't mean I can't sell it. So this is kind of cool. I don't know if this is worth anything or not, but it's a baseball jersey of like Shaq from back in the day. I'd say this is probably pretty good. See, and there's some things which is good for eBay and some things that, you know, are good for, you know, like a local store. This is just like a blank jersey type thing. It's probably made in USA. I might build that for something. It's got a good colorway. Uh, I wasn't sure what this was. I don't know if it's just, just a high school team. It's right out. It says Tigers. I don't know if it was Missouri, maybe, Tigers, or it's just some high school team. It's a real nice jersey. It's one of the ones that, like, is authentic, like they play with. Might be a practice jersey. I don't know. We'll throw it up on eBay, see what we can do with it. But like I said, it's a really nice jersey. And for a dollar, I wasn't going to pass it up. What else we get here? Okay, this is just a uh, like a collared, old school uh, soccer looking. I guess it's not old school. It's got the like newer tag, but still pretty cool. I probably sell it for something. Yeah, definitely worth seven dollars. Heck, the Bulls jacket was probably worth that. I probably would have paid five or six dollars for that on its own. 
I think we paid three dollars for this the other day it's one of those roar shirts I do really well with these roar shirts I'll probably get like thirty dollars for this so I paid two dollars for this uh, Dale Jarrett seems like the NASCAR shirts have been doing really well lately so I've been buying a lot more of them I just like this because it had a cool colorway it's a new style shirt but I'll probably get ten fifteen dollars for it at the store I think this is like a class of 96 military police shirt but I thought it had some cool graphics it was made in USA it's actually double stitch but it's dated 96 and it's got the uh, you know, the old jerseys tag so I eh, bought it for two dollars this is a roots athletics Saturday Night Live shirt thought that was cool bought a Bruce Lee shirt I love Bruce Lee he's one of my favorite guys ever but at least I just thought that was cool I haven't seen that print around oh this is pretty nice Tasmanian Devil, Harley Davidson. It's got the long sleeves with the, the stripes and flames up the, up the sleeves. Uh, let's see. Haynes Beefy T. It's Nevada. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. Some of these older ones are really good, but I don't think this one's very old. Oh, there's a date on it, but I can't, I can't see it. There's a date like right here. I'll have to get some other light, see if I can see that. But yeah, that was a nice shirt. I think I paid 4 or $5 for this. Their long sleeves are like $3.99, I think. So I think I paid 4 bucks for it. Uh, in my store, that's a 30 a minute, bare minimum, like $30 shirt. I'll have to look it up. I just thought these were cool. They're kind of cool, like real colorful shirts with like little, uh, even the almost like all over print made in usa i think they were single stitch yeah they're single stitch paid two dollars for them i'm not sure how much i'll try to get out of them maybe 25 30 bucks here's another one this is made by the same company so i like these crazy kind of shirts they sell you just got to find that right person and they uh one of the places i go to i told them to don't throw anything away that kind of looks crazy because they're bundling up like some of the old stock that I used to buy. I told them, I was like, you know, I can't find hardly any old stock anymore. So I said, if you see anything crazy, pull it out. If it's going into baler and let me look at it before you bail it. And they were going to throw this in the baler. This is just like a cool, like really crazy, like ski jacket. So I bought this for like $3. I thought it was pretty awesome. So I saved that from the... The rag company or where whoever they were sending it to this is el salvador or wherever it was going picked up this old school harley davidson this one is uh 1998 so this is probably you know 50 dollars sweatshirt maybe this one's nice i wish uh they wouldn't have cut the, the collar out of it Somebody will probably still want it. It's old school, too. Nothing on the back. And then they were having half price on shoes. If you don't know this brand, they sell pretty good. They're made really well. SAS. It's a San, San Antonio Shoe Company. But I got these for uh, half price of $6.99. They usually sell for like $25, $30 bucks shipped. And usually if you find one, you'll find a lot. Because... The lady that donated or whatever had a bunch of them because the people that like these love them. This is again was a half price of six ninety nine. Same deal, half price of six ninety nine. I've sold a bunch of these sash shoes. You can always tell them that you know they they have that look to them. You can just look at them on the shelf and and know what they are. There's another style. They make so many different styles of them. This was another one that was half price of six ninety nine. Then another thing I usually buy, if I find like really oddball sizes, I mean these are some Chuck Taylors, but 
Look how big those are. They're huge, dude. They're like, these are size 17. And uh, they were half price of $9.99, so I got them for five bucks. I should make some money on these. I mean, they're in pretty good shape. I'll just have to clean them up a little bit. I mean, they, they'll they they'll come as white as can be if I clean them up. But yeah, I think that's I think that was pretty good buy. I just took a chance on this. This is some kind of uh, sealed like software for two ninety nine. I'll probably throw it up for like twenty or thirty bucks. I've sold some of that kind of stuff before. Sometimes it's a you know it's a long wait and hard sell, but you know eventually you'll get your money. Oh, this is nice. Harley Davidson Kuwait. What did it say? Uh, Solidarity, I think. Yeah, that's nice. I paid uh, two dollars for that. Those uh, Harley Davidson sweatshirts, I think I paid four dollars for. Well, that day I bought those shoes, they were having half price on all their shoes. I bought these boots. I mean, they're in decent shape. But uh, I think they were, I thought they were Justin boots, maybe? No, these are Laredo. Oh, women's. I didn't notice they were women's. It doesn't matter. They're still in good shape. I got them for half price at $24 or $25. So I got them for $12.50. Yeah, I'll make money on them. I normally don't buy stuffed animals. But I had to buy this little Harley guy. He was 99 cents. I found these little kids Chuck Taylors. I got those for half price of $6.99. I sell the Converse really well. And I have a huge haul to show you here. Hopefully you guys aren't getting bored. Hopefully you're finding some cool stuff that you think is kind of cool. I bought this for a customer at my store. He's a big 49ers fan. It's like a little locker bank. I thought that was cool. This is cool. Reebok. I think I paid three dollars for this. Three or four. I might got a half off. It was either four or two. Oh, there we go. Bobo Flex. It's a nice uh, rock t-shirt. Bobo Flex are some good dudes. If you like uh, hard rock music, listen to some Bobo Flex. Uh, if you look right there. There's a drum head up there. It's autographed by Bobo Flex. Uh, like I said, those guys rock, man. Uh, they're awesome. Long sleeve Scooby Doo. It even has a spell out on the on the sleeve. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't look these up. I got them on half price day, so I didn't really care what they. I mean, I only got them for five bucks, so. Worst come to worst, I go in my store instead of eBay, but I'm not sure what they are. I didn't look them up. But for five bucks, they just need cleaned up. They look like they're, I mean, the soles look like they're in good shape. Like I said, they're just kind of dirty. Take some, uh, take one of those magic erasers. Here's a Kenya. Just got this today. This is like an old school, old school Wrangler tag. This is probably from the 70s or 80s, but it's an old trucker jacket. It's in good shape. I'll probably get 40 or $50 for this. I paid uh, $2.99 for it. I just buy every concert shirt I can find. This is just American Idol Live. You never know, somebody might like whoever was on that. I figured at $2. Maybe if I'll see if, uh, maybe I'll try to throw it in the Clay Aiken lot. <laughs> this is, a uh, Red Oak, made in USA, Oklahoma Sooners. That will do well. I'll probably get at least $30 for that. I paid $2.99 for it, I believe. Bought this today for $1.99. I'll sell that for 6 bucks at my store, probably. Almost got in a fight today. I'm like one of the coolest guys in the world. I, I don't... I don't mess with anybody. I, I'm not a jerk. I'm very, uh, you know, polite, and I give people their distance, and I don't push, I don't shove. There was a guy looking at the movies for like 20 minutes, and literally, there's. I know some of you guys go to these thrift stores, and you have thousands of movies. This thrift store literally had three shelves of movies this wide. I mean, they were just like 
there probably wasn't 50 movies there and the guy was looking at him for 20 minutes so finally I stood like five to six feet behind him and I was just kind of like looking on the either side of him he kept looking at me like you know like that and I just kept you know looking so I waited another five or ten minutes he wasn't moving so I, I moved as far as I could and looked the other way and I stuck my hand and I grabbed a few movies on the edge and to pull out to look at and uh, he called me a few cuss names and uh, I wasn't too happy about that I was like hey man I've been sitting here for 25 minutes I'm you know I'm, I gave you five feet I, I you know I'm not trying to get in your space I was wearing a mask he was wearing a mask it, it wasn't like we were infecting each other being five feet away but he seemed to think you know I guess five foot isn't six foot but Maybe I was in the wrong, but my rant's over. But like I said, I'm usually the coolest guy in the world, man. I don't, I don't mess with anybody, but I got called an a-hole today. Old Canadian jersey, hockey, Central Park ice hockey, Arizona Route 66. It's single stitch, so it should be good. It's on the old anvil tag. 1996 Habitat for Humanity. It's a cool shirt. I'm sure it's probably single stitch in it. Yep, single stitch. I have so much stuff, I don't even know what I have. Like I said, this stuff I think has just been sitting here forever. I may have done a haul with this already like a year ago. I don't know. Some of my stuff just sits around for a while. Michael Collins. I have so much stuff that I just got. It's just unreal. Another uh, half price day for the boots. These were kind of small, but they're Justin boots. They look like they were in great shape. I mean, I didn't see hardly anything wrong with them. They may have been worn a couple times, maybe. And they were half price of 25 bucks. I thought that was a good deal. I should be able to make some money on that. I don't know where I had. I had three of these sealed puzzles. I'm not sure where the other two went, but I picked up three sealed puzzles for two bucks a piece. During the lockdown, I almost sold out of all my puzzles. All right, guys, that's everything that we got this week. Uh, I, I mean, I got tons of stuff other than that, but that's some of the stuff I could find. But uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Keep, out, keep a lookout for all my other videos coming up or keep look at some of the past videos I did. I do tons of hauls, tons of what sold videos. Uh, we just picked up 400 vintage t-shirts the other day. Hey, we're still sorting through those. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. It's like we just have piles right now. If you, if you look here, we got piles right there and piles over there and piles over there. And we got some of the piles down, but it's been tough, man. Uh, 400 shirts to go through and, and is a lot but uh hey thanks for watching check out the channel like subscribe thanks guys have a good one